Hello folks, Manito here, I hope you're all doing good. In this tutorial, I'll be going over the new USB file transfer app, which was bundled with Atmosphere version 1.5.2. This is very useful as you don't need to install any additional program to your PC or set up a homebrew app. It's simple and easy to use. Here's a few things to take note of. First, in this tutorial and in all of my other tutorials, I'll be using a Windows PC for the computer setup. You can still follow along if you're using another OS, but some steps may be different. Next, is this safe to use? Yes, if it was not safe to use, it would not be bundled with Atmosphere. And with that, let's go over what's required. You'll need a moddable switch running Atmosphere custom firmware. Click the first tutorial link in the description and it will take you to my Atmosphere custom firmware setup tutorial. If you don't already have your switch set up with Atmosphere, Pause this video, go watch that one, then come back here. If the video is unavailable, the link will be replaced with a text tutorial. And that is all you'll need before starting this tutorial. Before we get started, make sure to click that subscribe button and the notification bell to stay notified of future videos, streams, and to support the channel. I noticed most of you that watch these videos are not subscribed, so please subscribe and help to build up the channel even more. Thank you, thank you, thank you. I also have a community Discord server where you can join to talk with me and other members of the community or if you need help with mod stuff. After watching the video, you can ask for help in the help channel if you need any. Something I'd also like to mention is that I am affiliated with Extreme Rate. What is Extreme Rate? Extreme Rate specializes in modding accessories for gamepads of Xbox, PlayStation, and Nintendo. Look at this Super Nintendo theme Pro Controller shell. So they sent this over to me about a month ago, and I did a video on it, took it apart, a little tutorial on how to, you know, take apart your Pro Controller and add custom buttons and shells. It's really cool, you should check that out in the info card up here. And if you'd like to purchase any shells from their website, use the affiliate links in the description or coupon code MONITO418 at checkout to save 10% off of your purchase. Using the affiliate link or coupon code helps to support me. Thank you for your support. And with that, now we can get onto the tutorial. Right now, I'm going over updating Atmosphere to the latest version. If you're on a version of Atmosphere that is higher than version 1.5.2, the latest at the time of recording this video, then you can skip to the next segment of the video. If you need to update Atmosphere, continue following along. Turn off your switch and put your SD card into your computer. Make sure you do not connect via FTP. When updating Atmosphere, you must power off the switch and put the SD card into the computer. Go to the Atmosphere GitHub releases page, link in the description, and you'll need to download the latest release of Atmosphere. At the time of recording, the latest released is version 1.5.2. This is the version that added USB file transfer support. If it's at a higher version when you're downloading it, that's okay. Just make sure you always grab the latest release. The latest released will always be found at the top. Download the latest atmosphere.zip and the latest fuse.bin. Open atmosphere.zip, extract it, and move everything to the root of your SD card. Replace all files when prompted. Now eject your SD card and place it into your switch. Open Tegra RCMG UI or payload injector of your choice. Click the folder icon and select the latest fuse.bin. Place the RCM jig on your switch, hold volume up, and press power. Connect your switch to your computer via USB-C cable and inject the payload. Now we're in Atmosphere Custom Firmware. Go to the homebrew menu via album or title takeover. Title takeover is when you hold R while opening a game to open the homebrew menu. Now find USB file transfer. For me, it's all the way to the right. Press X on it and it'll start the app, moving it to the left. Open it and if you're still connected to your PC, you should be able to access your Switch SD card. If it's not, connect the USB cable to your Switch. You should find the device in your file explorer. It's named Nintendo Switch. Open it, open SD card, and you'll have access to your Switch SD card. This is very useful for adding more mods, homebrew, and more. Something to take note of, 
it's not recommended to update atmosphere using USB file transferring. Update atmosphere by turning off your switch and ejecting the SD card, as shown earlier in the video. Also, for obvious reasons, this only works while in handheld mode. If you'd like to transfer files while docked, follow my guide on setting up FTP, wireless file transferring. When you're done moving files, press plus on your switch and it'll exit the app. And that is all for the video. I hope you all enjoyed this tutorial. On the left, you'll see a playlist for Switch Mod tutorials. Check that out. And on the right, a video that YouTube recommends for you. Might be a funny one, might be a cringy one, or both. We'll see. Make sure to leave a like, drop a comment, and subscribe for more content. Shout out to all my channel members. Thank you for your support. And thank you, yes you, watching right now, for your support and watching until the end. Have a good day, good night, whatever time you're watching this, and God bless. See ya!